Hi Floss Tube, it's Teresa from TLC Stitches. How is everybody? Um, I'm good. Uh, I have done tons of stitching since I talked to you a month ago. I have a finish and two new starts after I promised that I would yeah, never do this. I'm doing it. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that commented. I was so overwhelmed with the response. It was awesome. Um, and to everyone that subscribed and watched my video and I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I, I had no idea the joy that making that video would bring me. I've had such a lovely few weeks with all the lovely comments and I've tried to reply to everybody. I hope I haven't missed you. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. I have, um, I showed you in my last video, project that I was working on for my son for his, for Christmas. And yay, it's finished. So all we have to do now is get it framed. So this is the Patriots that he follows in the NRL. So we're done. All finished. Um, all I have to do now is wash it and frame it up. For him for Christmas. Um, I do have some questions about how you will wash your fabric because I normally don't wash them but since I've been watching you guys I've kind of thought well I'd really like to give it a go. Um, I'm a little bit scared about doing that so if anyone's got any good tips um, especially Aussie sorry to be rude but I need to know what you wash it with and and the products that we get here may not be the same as what we get overseas so if anyone knows around here what they wash it with that's easy to get at um, and how they do it I'd really appreciate that help so yay done beauty so <clears throat> I was able to start Cinderella again thank you for everybody's help with Cinderella I was really scared it was my first time on even weave and um, in my last video I asked for some help and you guys were amazing. I got so many suggestions and responses. It was awesome. Uh, Pam Reed, who I love to watch, actually sent me a message to say that she thought that the best way to go about it was to, I was worried about where to start this and um, how to get it centered on the fabric. And she suggested to just start like up in the, the top center of the fabric and just start right here and then work my way out to, to page one out here, which is what I did. I did work in blocks across till I got, you know, to a space where I felt comfortable. I didn't try to just count and quickly rush across. I, I methodically did some blocks, some 10 by 10 blocks until I got right out to the end. And then I've stitched the first page and some of the second page. So I'm um, really happy with the progress. This even weave, oh... I loved it. You all said I would and I really, really love it. It's very intricate and very um, teeny tiny and the one over one, um, yeah, has come up so well. This is really not doing it much justice on here, but um, yeah, it's stitching up beautifully and I love the even weave. I absolutely love it. It's great. It's very detailed and teeny tiny and just the one thread. I'm using just the one thread. I got tips on how to do that. You guys are awesome. Um, how to start and tutorial links and yeah, you, you guys are great. Really, really helpful. So yeah, I have started that. I do have one issue with it, which I probably can't really show you, but little Mr. Larry, I've named him Larry the Lizard here. He's, um, I'm left-handed, just let me swap. His chin here, it, it's like he doesn't have a chin. I don't really know whether you guys can tell, but there's not really much detail under his chin. And I've gone back over that pattern a hundred times just to make sure I stitched it right. And I don't know whether you can see this because it's so small. But on here, no, you can't see. His chin just looks like there's more detail there, but it's missing from the graph. I've gone over and over it, and I'm sure I've stitched it right, but he just seems to have, like, all this white under his face and no definition of his chin. But anyway, 
The other thing I really loved about this is, is I've used the sparkly fabric. You can probably see that shimmering a little. And I, I expected that, that this part here that I stitched, there would be no sparkle, but it actually shows through the threads, which is awesome. I, I didn't expect that at all. So that's been really cool as well. So really enjoyed stitching this, really enjoying it. Um, now, if you haven't watched my first video, I've... I've <laughs> always stitched one project from start to finish and it was really really hard to put this down <laughs> I did my 10 days like I said I was going to and then on the 11th day I was still stitching it um, because I was waiting on fabric for another new start and it arrived on the 11th day so I immediately put this down and it killed me it really killed me to put it down it was so hard um, especially with it being a new start too, I guess I just did not want to stop stitching on it. I was making such good progress. I had a week off work and I just stitched like a crazy person all week. So I got so much done on it, but I promised myself I was going to do this. So I put it down and I put it away and I started a new one. Now you all know this pattern. Everybody's seen this pattern, but old death by cross stitch. So I thought, oh, I love this pattern. It is very traditional, which is not something that I would normally do. I I really like things that kind of look like a photograph when you finish them, full coverage pieces that kind of look like a photo. That really draws me in. But I really like this pattern. And good old Pam Reed again, she just raved and raves about it in her videos, how much she's enjoyed stitching it. And I just thought, oh, I have to give that a go because I really liked it. So um, I had a bit of a dilemma of trying to decide what colours to do because I've watched a few of you on here. You're all doing different. I've seen red backgrounds and uh, all sorts of pretty um, combinations. But in my house, I have a lot of white and I have a lot of grey. My lounge room furniture is all grey and I think I'm going to put this in there. So I went with a dark grey background and I stitched it on white and I love it. I really, really love it. I think it's, yeah, it's come up really nice. So I'm really, really happy with how that's stitching up. Really enjoying this pattern, Pam. Yep, I get it. I really get it. It's beautiful and it's so much fun to stitch. And it's nice this area I'm doing at the moment because it's the parts that you're leaving that make the picture, not the parts that you're stitching. So it's quite unusual and yeah really enjoying this pattern I really love it um, just with one thread it's a 25 count Lugana even weave yay go me number two even weave um, so yeah I, I just love it it's it's B5 200 that I'm using um, I wanted something that was a really stark white to hope that it really popped off the dark gray which I think it is it's Again, not doing it justice on here. It's it's a really beautiful pattern and a lot of fun. And if you have been umming and ahhing about it, I would definitely get this pattern. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, yay for whip number two. So, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Now that I've got into this, I'm okay with leaving the other one aside and, and not working on that for a while. It's I've sort of gotten past it now. So I'm enjoying that. Now, um, just quickly, in my last video, I'm just going to very quickly show you. I did um, show this. <laughs> oh, gosh, I felt so awful. I showed this pattern. I'll just quickly give you a, a quick look for those that haven't seen it. This is um, called Pink Fringe Penny. And the response that I got was incredible. So many of you asked about... Uh, this pattern and where to get it and I did show you on my picture that I had this this pattern I did about 10 years ago and I showed you on here that um, it said cross stitch charts and stuff was where I purchased it from 10 years ago I've gone back to look for the the PDF it was like three computers ago and I cannot find it anywhere it's gone and I never kept the the paper chart because it was just an absolute mess after three years of stitching so I'd thrown it away and I had so many people ask about this pattern um, would I gift it would I swap it you know where did I get it uh, all I could tell them was cross stitch charts and stuff it says down here and it's called pink frangipani that's up in the top there here it says pink frangipani I can't find it 
I've, I've scoured the internet and I can't find it and I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everybody really loves it. <laughs> and yeah, I loved it, but I wasn't really prepared. It was my first video and I had no idea that so many people would want to know about it. So if anybody out there in FrostTube world knows where to get this pattern, um, I'd really love to know because so many people have asked and I'd love to be able to tell them where they can find it. So if anyone comes across it or has come across it, I think maybe cross stitch charts and stuff don't exist anymore because when you Google it, it's not there. So I'm assuming they've closed. Maybe they've changed the name and, and maybe that's a way to track it down. I don't know. So if anyone knows anything, I would really appreciate the help because so many people loved it and wanted to stitch it and I couldn't help them and I felt awful. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, just, just a quick note on that one. Um, I'm also going to just quickly show Almond Blossom again because I also had a massive response with this one too. And I do have a question. Um, if you, I'll just quickly show it sideways. This is it. Uh, not much, I, I've hardly really put a dent in it. It's absolutely massive. Um, I forgot to mention too in the last video that this is a Van Gogh painting. It's called Almond Blossom, but it is a Van Gogh painting, so in case you were wondering who the original original designer was, it was Van Gogh. Um, I've ordered a Millennium frame. I already have a frame, but I needed longer bars. I've ordered 36-inch bars for it. And if anyone's recently ordered from Needle Needs or ordered a Millennium frame and they've recently received it and they knew how long it took, I'd love to know. I I know when I ordered my frame, it took forever. And then this is my stand here. I ordered that and it took forever, like months and months um, I think it was probably close on two months ago I ordered it. So if anyone knows roughly how long that's going to be, because that will be my third whip, um, I don't want to start anything else because I, that's just who I am. So <laughs> I'm waiting patiently for that, um, for that, those bars to come so that I can continue on with that because it just doesn't fit on any that I have. So, yeah, if anyone knows how long they're taking, I'd love to know. Um, now, FOs. You all enjoyed the last FO so much, the old pink frangipani that I thought I'd show another one. Uh, this one I know is available online, yay. It's um, called Pink Tree Online. I, I, I don't know if there's another name for it, but I know that if you Google Pink Tree, you will find it. Um, it's uh, It was from China, a Chinese pattern. Um, I will say it came in kit form. It had uh, all the threads in the kit as well. It came from China and it was on 11 count, which was, I didn't like it at all. It was way too big and blocky looking and I, I just didn't like it. So I just cut up some um, 14 count that I had because I had a massive roll of 14 count. So I just used, cut that up and used that. Um, but I will say, if you really like this and you order it, try to just buy the chart. And um, because if it comes from China, the threads, there was so much thread because it's quite a large piece. And I ended up deciding to use the thread and I really wish that I hadn't. I don't think anyone's going to know. But if you've got thread from China before, maybe you've seen it. It's quite almost kind of wooly and fluffy it, it doesn't have that sheen that DMC has but when I kept looking at this big pile of thread I'm thinking that's such a waste what am I going to do with it so I stitched with it um and yeah I mean it's fine but when I, when I was using the thread I found it really knotty it kept knotting all the time and I'd sort of gotten too far into it to turn back and I just kept going and, and finished it and Look, it's a beautiful pattern. It's lovely. I don't really know how I'm going to show you properly. I do have a picture here somewhere. <clears throat> it's quite grotty. It's <laughs> very old. <laughs> I, I stitched this about oh, maybe 18 months ago. It's the only picture I have. I'm sorry. It's quite small. But it came, um, as I said, with 11 count Ada. And it was done in the three um, separate pieces. Uh, so I decided to stitch it that way more just because 
this was so big that it wouldn't fit on my frame either. And I thought, oh, no, I'll, I'll do the three separate pieces. So I'm probably going to have to show it to you that way because it's too big. I can't really hold it all up together. And there's Ada either side of it, so you can't really tell um, how it looks. But here we go. So this is piece number one. So, yeah, I mean, you can't tell that the threads were, were yucky threads, really, can you? I don't think so. But, um, yeah, I just I found them really awful to stitch with. So if you like this and you want this, uh, now it just goes, I think, like that. And then, <laughs> I don't know if I can show you it all, but there's a third piece here that goes on this end. You know, this end we're all backwards. Can I fit it all in? Sort of, kind of. Yeah, that'll give you a bit of an idea, I guess. So, yeah, it was a lot of pink. A lot of pink. So much pink. And I'm not a pink girl. I'm a green and blue girl, but I just really liked it. I loved the picture and as I said I love to stitch things that from a, a distance way back here when it's up on the wall it, it really does look like a photo and I love that I love that you can make it you know that pixelated that it it looks like a photo so I um finished that mm, when did I finish it maybe 18 months ago or so and it took me about 18 months. I think it took me about four, five months, six months per per um, one. So the the question that I have for this FO is I am going to frame this. I promised myself I would. I'm going to frame it. I'm going to put it up in my home. Um, is now that I've stitched it in the three pieces, I'm wondering about the best way to frame it. So on here... What I was thinking about doing is putting it all into one frame but segregating each one of these by putting a piece of cardboard mount around each piece but then just all in one frame. So does that make sense? That's what I'm thinking I'd like to do with it. Um, but maybe I could just join them all together and make it one picture. I don't really know how you'd go about that, but I have a good framer. He's very he's very knowledgeable. He knows what he's doing, and I could just do it into the one big piece, one picture. So, but, yeah, no, I, I think I'd like it in in the three separate bits, but just all in one frame. I'm pretty sure that, that will make sense. So I'd love to know what you think. Maybe you've got another idea that I haven't thought of, which would be awesome. I'd love to hear it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely going to put that up somewhere one day. <laughs> These FAs, they just sit there, don't they, in the cupboard. Like, yeah, but anyway, this one I'd like to do soon, maybe in the new year. I'd like to, once I've got Christmas and all of that sort of stuff out of the way, I think I'd like to um, maybe do something with that. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it, guys. That was all I had to show you today. Not a short one. I've um I've again just really, really been enjoying my stitching this month. I I don't know if it's because I, I got excited about being able to show you guys or what it was, but man, I've stitched like a crazy woman this month. It, it probably doesn't look like I've done a lot. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to mention was that when I showed you the this the last time. I showed you my piece of fabric and I said, oh, it's only 13 by 13 inches. It won't take me long. This is a really small one compared to what I normally do. But this is so tiny. I forgot that, you know, I hadn't really thought about the fact that the stitches were half the size of 40 count. So, yeah, it's it's really going to take me a while. I started stitching it and I'm thinking, wow, I'm not getting very far very quick, am I? Well, that's obviously why I just hadn't, I hadn't thought about that. So... I was, and I'm a newbie to all of this, but yeah, really, really enjoying it all, really loving it. Um, so again, just a, a thank you and a shout out to everybody that, that made suggestions. I, I, that's what I ended up doing. I just stitched, I started in this little 
block here and that's right at the middle at the top and I folded my fabric and I knew that I knew the piece was more than big enough so I just folded it into the lines and I went to the top and I actually did a little bit of counting just to sort of a rough count to make sure that it seemed like this way and up this way just to kind of make sure it seemed right and it did so um, yeah I just started up here and I worked my way out and as I said I did it in blocks so that I, I played it very safe I didn't want to count wrong and then this part here down here and up to there and out that way that is all one um, page and now I'm working on page two here so yeah I, I'm, I'm really loving that really enjoying how that's stitching up so yeah if um, anybody has any questions or comments please feel free uh, I um, got some lovely messages from you guys again thank you so much really I, I was so nervous about all of this I really didn't think anyone would want to watch and so many of you did I really appreciate it um, just a shout out to Pam Reed again thank you so much Pam you you really helped me so much she also helped me with um, with this I have no idea how to work out how to measure these fabrics they the, this one, um, Death by Cross Stitch, the, the pattern I ordered doesn't even tell you. It, it, like, you know how many stitches it is, but it doesn't tell you how big your piece of fabric needs to be. I guess it's because you can do it on whatever you want and that varies, but um, I had no idea. So I messaged Pam and she sent me the measurements for it. On She'd done hers on 25 count as well, so that was really easy. And I was able then to measure it up and cut it because I was a bit scared of that too. But... I'm sure I've got it right, Pam. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so just I'll do a couple of quick, another couple of quick videos. Um, Deborah Fassler, she's funny. She's so funny. She doesn't even know she's funny, but she is great. She's really good to watch. There's also a young girl. Uh, now, what's her name? Courtney ECR. She's fabulous. If you haven't checked her out, do it. She's young. Um, but very knowledgeable and really good to watch and she's stitching some beautiful things but it's so lovely to see young people on here doing it it, it gives me hope for the future that yeah we won't all die off and <laughs> it'll disappear because yeah there's there's not many young ones out there really there's there's quite a few that do videos but I don't know of anyone that stitches really so that's that's young like that so I think that's great that, that she's right into it and she seems to really enjoy it and uh, she does some really good videos. So Courtney ECR, I think it is. I think they're her initials or something, but um, check her out too if you haven't. Uh, yeah, there's, I might do some more in my next one because I haven't written any down, so that's just off, off the top of my head. So um, take care, guys. I'm going to sign off and I just want to thank you all again for your support. Um, I'll be back in another month. I, I'm thinking a month is more than enough to see me. I, I'll just show you what I've done at the end of each month. But I'm just going to keep plugging away at those two whips until I um, get my new frame, which, as I said, if any of you know how long that'll be, I'd love to know. Uh, take care. Happy stitching, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye.